Well, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky arriving at the White House yesterday for his highly anticipated meeting with President Joe Biden, part of his first trip outside of Ukraine since Russia's invasion of his country in February. In his address to the United States Congress, Zelensky saying that the billion dollars worth of aid it had approved to help it fight the Russian invasion was an investment in global security and that he hoped they would continue to support the Ukrainians on a bipartisan basis. Now all this comes as the Pentagon revealing they will send the Patriot Air Defense Battery and Munitions to Ukraine for the first time as part of the major $1.8 billion weapons package. The new assistance includes $1 billion in presidential drawdown authority, meaning the United States military military will actually pull weapons from its own stockpiles to send to Kyiv. Also in attendance there, Israel's deputy ambassador to Washington, Aliyev Benjamin, who said, quote, as Ukraine fights for its freedom, Israel will continue to stand and support the Ukrainian people. I-24 News' Mike Wagenheim reports. Wearing his trademark green attire, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky took to the speaker's podium on Wednesday night, addressing a joint session of the U.S. Congress. He spoke of shared values between America and Ukraine, he tried to convince reticent Republicans that American tax dollars going to the battle in Ukraine is well worth the investment. He said it's not just a matter of winning territory anymore, it's well beyond that. This battle is not only for the territory, for the or another part of Europe. The battle is not only for life, freedom and security of Ukrainians or any other nation which Russia attempts to conquer. The brutal conflict has dragged on now for some 10 months. Zelensky, though, insisted that next year will mark a turning point. Our two nations are allies in this battle. And next year will be a turning point. I know it, the point when Ukrainian courage and American resolve must guarantee the future of our common freedom. In the hours leading up to Zelensky's visit to Washington, the Biden administration announced another defense aid package of $1.8 billion. It takes the total aid given by America so far to this effort to some $23 billion. Zelensky was up front to Congress. He said, more is needed. Your money is not charity. It's an investment in the global security and democracy that we handle in the most responsible way. Earlier this week, the UN Security Council met to discuss the issue of Iran providing drones to Russia to use in its decimation of Ukrainian energy infrastructure. Zelensky saying to Congress on Wednesday that Russia and Iran are two sides of the same terrorist coin. More than that, Russia found an ally in this, in this genocidal policy, Iran. Iranian de deadly drones sent to Russia in hundreds, in hundreds became a threat to our critical infrastructure. That is how one terrorist has found the other. For those in Congress and Americans watching at home who may be growing weary of the conflict, Zelensky did tell those in attendance that he discussed the potential of peace with U.S. President Joe Biden earlier in the day, laying out exactly what that would mean to Ukraine and proposing a summit to try to get it done. We need peace. Yes, Ukraine has already offered proposals, which I just discussed with President Biden, our peace formula, 10 points which should and must be implemented for our joint security, guaranteed for decades ahead. Zelensky's speech seemed to be well received by both sides of the aisle on Wednesday night. The big question now is come January when Republicans take over the House of Representatives and the purse strings. The question is whether the money will keep flowing to Ukraine at the same rate it's been. Reporting here from the U.S. Congress in Washington, Mike Wagenheim, I-24 News.